Hey, I'm Tyler Reed, principal at BB Middle School. We're super excited to welcome your middle schoolers back to McRae. Uh, we just have a few things we want to talk about about logistics uh, and safety procedures that we're going to do this fall uh, to ensure the safety of all of our kiddos. Uh, first, uh, we're going to just talk about morning drop-off. Uh, morning drop-off procedure will actually stay the same. Um, our parents will just continue around the back of the McRae building and then uh, drop off their student beside the cafeteria and then exit out towards Dollar General, just like normal. Uh, the only difference being is that we're not going to have buses coming down that Dollar General road, so parents will have free access to go down that road when they leave. Uh, next, uh, regarding parent drop-off, um, students will have access to the gymnasium. Uh, and the full cafeteria to help socially distance. So we'll have the bleachers out in the, in the gym so that students can separate uh, and be in the gym if it's raining. Uh, but we don't expect to do that very much during the year because it doesn't rain that often. Um, afternoon pickup. Uh, this will be slightly different uh, in years past. Uh, this year we're going to actually let out the bus riders first. Uh, so all bus riders will be dismissed first with a teacher and they will be escorted out to the buses, load the buses. Once all the buses clear the McRae campus, then students who ride uh, who get picked up by the parents will be dismissed out to the parent pickup and the parent pickup will be the same procedure as last year uh, around the back of the school wait at the fence come through the fence pick up your child and then exit towards dollar general uh, transition time um, transition time will be a little bit different this year uh, we're really going to enforce uh, making sure students stay on the, uh, the right side of the hallway we're going to have some awesome uh, badger paws or arrows down on the ground that just kind of direct students to stay on uh, one side of the hallway to social distance. Also, we're limiting the amount of students that will be in the hall at any given point. Um, so for instance, for, for lunches, lunches will be staggered in times, recesses will be staggered. Also, there will be some activity teachers that will actually come and teach in the regular classroom instead of students leaving the classroom to go to their activity teacher. That'll keep uh, the, the number of contact points at a minimum for our kiddos. Um, also, we'll be sure to have a, a lot of teachers on duty throughout the, the school day uh, so that students know when and where they shouldn't be uh, to make sure that we keep social distancing measures enforced. Uh, next, we will have four lunches this year. Uh, we've got the start and end times up there uh, for fifth and sixth grade. Uh, really, our lunches aren't changing by that much. Uh, fifth graders, uh, some fifth graders will eat about 15 minutes earlier than they did last year. Uh, and then some of our sixth graders will eat about 15 minutes later than they would uh, last year. Uh, but so we will have four lunches. Uh, we will only allow two to three teams to eat at lunch. Uh, we had a great question come in earlier about uh, assigned seats. So teams will have assigned seats. Uh, sorry, teams will have assigned tables. Uh, but we are doing assigned seats right now, but we will have them marked uh, where you can and cannot sit. Um, students will have uh, some time to eat, and then they will actually then go outside. Uh, and again, they're only going to be in groups of two to three teams. They'll go outside uh, on the playground or in the cafeteria if it's raining. Uh, breakfast will be slightly different. In years past, we've only used about half the cafeteria to serve our breakfast needs. This year, we're going to open up the full cafeteria so that students have plenty of room and space to, uh, to socially distance. Also, our grab-and-go will not actually be in the cafeteria. Our grab-and-go will be curbside. So as soon as you get dropped off uh, by a parent or as soon as you get dropped off by a bus, uh, you can actually just grab-and-go breakfast and then go out to the gym or go to the playground and socially distance. Only hot meals will be served in the cafeteria. Uh, and so, you know, we vision about half of our students will go for that option and that will severely limit the amount of people that will be in the cafeteria. And of course, seats will be marked so that students don't uh, sit uh, too close to one another during breakfast. Uh, and the last thing here that we, we've gotten a lot of inquiries about is recess. And so instead of having one recess time where the entire fifth grade is on the playground or the entire sixth grade is on the playground, we won't do that this year. We've actually created a schedule for all of our teachers where recess will be staggered all throughout the day uh, so that students do get that uh, you know, minimum requirement of, uh, of recess, uh, but they won't be on the recess playground with more than two to three teams. Um, and so we're really going to limit how many students are out there. If you've been out to McRae, we have a huge playground, a huge blacktop. Uh, we will have uh, parent, uh, teachers on staff to, to help keep students socially distanced while they're out there, but we do have plenty of room for, for the few groups that will actually be out there on the playground. Um, and so I, I do encourage you to email me uh, at my email at the middle school anytime uh, with any questions and we'll, and we'll get right back to you. Also, we have the COVID support email uh, that you can email and get your questions answered. So please feel free to reach out if you have any further questions. Looking forward to seeing you all in the fall.